Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and it's been a very, very long time. When the snowstorm hit, a lot of hours, I was a zombie, and then, and then I got sick, really bad, on top of exhaustion, and I was out for a few weeks. But I didn't touch KSP, frankly I was kind of burned out. After a while, I downloaded Blender which is a 3D, I think, animation program. Still learning how to work it, but it actually looks really cool. My job, because of the snowstorm, is weeks behind their other projects. And so now, we're starting to rush and get things done as fast as we can before the new season of whatever. Got the bosses constantly breathing down your back. Accidents are happening, people are hurting themselves, trying to rush, get things done. It's just stupid. I feel for everyone out there who has a construction job. Sometimes, more often than not, you get up in the morning, you just want to crumble to the floor. But you gotta pick yourself up and put yourself back together. Throw on the vest and the hard hat and head on out. So yeah. It's been a long time since I've made a video, and I do apologize to everyone. But, as I said before, this channel is going to drastically change very, very soon. YouTube's algorithm, the way I understand it works, is that you have to put out at least a video a day, and that video has to be at least 10 minutes or so long. And the people watching it have to watch it at least halfway through, if not a little bit more. When YouTube sees that the video that you put out and that people are actually watching it more than halfway through or whatever the case is, then that algorithm will literally get these videos and recommend them to other people because of the fact that people are watching it and it's coming out every single day. And as long as you put inside the description or the name of the video or whatever certain keywords that a lot of people are looking for, well, that helps you even more. And if people like what they see, they subscribe. That being said, I'm going to start putting out a video every day, about 10 minutes long. Try to make it exciting. Try to make it interesting so that people watch more than halfway through. So hopefully that will get more people to the channel. The channel will start to grow. Now these games will be different games. I'm not going to stick to just one game anymore. On Steam, there are lots of demos especially for horror games or first-person shooters or whatever the case may be. Demos are free, which is good for me because I'm broke. A demo is fairly quick, so I can finish it within 15-20 minutes. I'll give my take on how it went and how I felt about the game and what I think could be improved, and then I'll ask everyone for their opinions on the comments below and slap it together and make a video. On the weekends it'll be a little bit more special. I do want to continue making Solar Nations and there's even Duna 1. Problem I have with those videos is that they take a very long time to make and KSP is slightly glitchy. So it does burn me out within the first few hours of trying to get the perfect camera angles and everything else, let alone the vehicles to work without exploding or just going all haywire or not even getting into orbit. I've already finished recording the visuals on the next Solar Nations. All I need to do is put them together, edit it, and uh, put a story behind it. As for Duna 1, because of the fact that it takes a very long time to make, it is going to have to be on special occasions. I'll make a good 30 minute video and maybe release it on holidays or something of that nature. Make some more teaser trailers, throw them out there. I don't know, but things are gonna change. And for some of you, it's gonna change drastically. I wanna put this out there right now, is that I apologize to all of you who came here for strictly KSP content. I've been doing this for almost three years. Even the console version of KSP, from what I've read, is glitchy. It's not really doing very well. I'm not saying that KSP is dying. I'm just saying that it's, I think it's glory days are just about over. And it's very possible it could become one of those oldie goldies 10, 20 years from now. People who remember it are still playing it. That's if something similar to KSP doesn't come out and proves itself to be better, which is uh, possible. I guess you're all wondering what the heck it is that's being built behind me. Well, it's a rocket SSTO or SSRT. Something I remember seeing uh, when I was younger and I really, really liked it. Just basically really, really powerful rockets, a whole lot of fuel, get it up there, come back down. Something I wish we could build today, but I don't know. I guess nobody really wants to spend that kind of money. Everybody's hoping for the Skylon to be the first SSTO and all sort of good stuff, but we're pretty strong with rocket technology right now. 
it's kind of hard to think about why can't we make something like this. I thought it was a pretty cool little craft that I put together. Brings up about 36 tons. I didn't use an orange tank because it was too tight for the container space that I had for it. So I just put two tanks together and slightly, slightly squeezed them together just a little bit so I could get some uh, clearance in that cargo bay. Works really nicely, but it's still just a test craft. So no downloads. It's just a test craft. Really doesn't even have a name. And uh, after working on it for this video, I probably be probably won't be working on it for a while until I find time. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put your questions in the comments below. I want to also apologize for the fact that there's been plenty of videos before this one where everyone has commented or asked a question and I had really no time to look at them or answer them. So I'm going to do my best to answer any questions you have in the comments below. Some of you may already know about this. But I'm discontinuing the Patreon account, not because of the fact that there wasn't enough supporters. There was plenty of supporters, and I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Your support was amazing. Is amazing. But I want to try to stray away from that, only because of the fact that Patreon, when it comes time to do our taxes, is a little tricky. Almost to the point where it's kind of scary tricky. So, I'm not going to get into any details, but it was a, it was an eye-opener. Patreon is ran by a small group of people. Even, in, even when they talk about it, they don't really want to get into taxes. They keep on shoving it into your face. They, hey, if you want to do the whole taxes thing, go to a tax professional. We're not responsible for nothing. Uh, we'll give you a little slip right here to help you figure out how much you made but other than that we pretty much wipe our hands clean of you when it comes to IRS and taxes and it's like whoa well gee thanks for the support I mean I understand they're a small group of people they want to try to keep away from all that legal stuff they got their own taxes they got to worry about but I'm not gonna that's a minefield I think I'm gonna try to shy away from that so instead i'm gonna look at youtube i'm gonna tie my account um, either bank account or paypal account or whatever try to tie that account in with monetization and i'm gonna start making my money that way i mean youtube is a huge corporation huge company probably and i'm not i'm just guessing i could be dead wrong but there's probably more support when it comes to trying to figure out your taxes and how much you owe and how that all works and if they don't well just gonna have to suck it up. So Patreon is no more. Or at least I hope it's no more. It was really interesting how you're supposed to cancel your Patreon account. You're supposed to email them at a certain email account. Tell them that you want to cancel it. And they'll get back with you within three weeks. Some weird thing like that. I don't know. But anyway. So this kind of thing where I'm going to start putting out videos every day is going to start pretty soon within the next week or two. I'm hopefully I'll be able to finish up Solar Nation's within the next week or two as well. All right, everybody. So again, I want to apologize to everyone out there who expected this channel to be Kerbal Space Program content forever. I understand completely if you want to unsubscribe, it's okay. I understand, it's cool. Hopefully maybe one day you'll come back. For those of you who want to stay with this channel, all I can tell you is buckle up. It's gonna be a rough ride until I get it right, that's for sure, but it's gonna be fun. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Let's go, North. Let's search for a place to stand. <clears throat> Fifty years ago, students like you decided to fill this time capsule with several objects. Objects considered important and worthy of being rediscovered in the future. Their future is now our present. Plus, there are slides that show how the school was like at that time. It was a bit less messy, of course. When we discovered the slides, there was a note saying, the greatness of a school comes from its students and teachers. This is dedicated to them. <laughs> 